All right, guys, this is a headlight ring off of my old 63 Chevy pickup, and it's sure bent up. So let's go see if we can straighten some bent metal. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. Uh, have a look at that. <laughs> the other day, my, my father-in-law came by and went to pick me up, and he, he accidentally backed into the truck. It broke the headlight. That's easy enough to replace. But uh, look at what's happened back here. The side has gotten folded in, this is crushed, and this whole thing is not flat anymore. All right, guys, so the first thing you should probably know about trying to straighten, you know, bent up sheet metal like this is, uh, it's probably best to try to bend it back in the, you know, uh, kind of got to reverse engineer the bend, right? So the first, I'm pretty sure this is the point of impact right here. It's kinked right there. Uh, hopefully it hasn't stretched the metal too much and eh, probably would be all right even if it has a little bit but you know that's going to make it a little bit more complicated to fix so that's probably something we ought to like leave for just a minute now this roll part i think happened this crushed in and this is sitting against the uh the grill right and it pushed this back and it it just kind of folded over and miraculously, it really didn't bend the grill up very much at all. I think I want to try to open this thing back up some. So well, let's see what we can do with that. All right, so first thing, uh, you know, admittedly, I am not a body guy. Uh, you know, I've done a little bit of this, but uh, I've got some ideas here on how to do this. So uh, I wish I had, like, smooth jaw pliers and stuff like that, but I don't. So we've got some of those. Lineman pliers with a couple of three different flavors here. Uh, I've got these. Those may be handy, but I think maybe this is going to be too stiff of a piece of metal. Got a few little sticks here of some pine. Soft hammer. Whenever that one fails. i got a little bit stouter hammer here. Uh, that's a, a beach, I think, beach hammer. It's really more of a carver's tool, but, you know, if we're striking a piece of wood, I don't think it's going to hurt nothing. All right, so let's see what we got here. I got this little piece here. I can see all these other ones are nice and straight, so I think I can get in there and straighten that guy out, and that's not going to really going to hurt nothing too much. Now, I'm going to have to, you know, this is really curved bad here so this whole thing is kind of distorted the worst damage is over here but i got to get this peeled back up well, let's see what we can do here and you don't want to try to put all your you know you don't want to bend it all in one spot at one go you want to kind of work your way around let's see if i can i need a screwdriver or something i think to get under there to pry this open all right well we're in the wood shop so uh by the way if you ever see one of these craftsman chisels laying around uh don't buy these these things are pretty junky very soft steel in them any anyway, rate see if we can lever this guy up i think i'm because i know i gotta drive this piece here back out some i think i'm gonna take my wood and i'm gonna try to start flattening that just a little bit See how this behaves. Hey, there we go. Now hopefully this thing doesn't collapse while we try prying on it. Well, can you see here? Let's see. There we go. And it's starting to open up a little bit. It's still kind of tight right here. All right, there we go. I just put this pony clamp on here just so, you know, I got a third hand to hold this thing down. Now maybe I can fight with this without having to worry about fighting the whole thing. I 
suppose many people will probably wonder why you would fuss around with something like this, but uh, they call these uh, paint can headlight rings. And uh, I believe this is a one year only part for the Chevy trucks. It's not even on the GM, they had a different grill. So if I want to go find one of these, probably somebody's going to want to really want to charge me a bunch of money for one. Let's see, find the spot here. Yeah, okay, it's right here. You can see I've gotten that opened up quite a bit better now. Well, let's see if we can straighten this part of the face here again. Oh, sorry, rather. Let's see if we can straighten this part of the face a little bit more. And you can see it's still bent. But it is actually kind of coming back in. We'll have to fuss with it a little bit once we're done, but like I said, it's good to kind of move to different areas. Can't straighten all in one spot without working somewhere else. That's not the way it got bent, right? It all bent sort of very closely together. You know, it's a little bit flaring out right here. This is that spot where it was kinked. So we'll probably have to massage this here around a little bit once we get a little further along. I don't want to tear up my, my block here too much. I'll set a piece of two by four on there. I'm going to see if I can tap this pointed bit down. Okay, now that we got it opened up enough, this, this corner here, it needs to come out some. This whole face has got to get pushed that way some more, so uh, this stick will just reach in there. In fact, I think I'm going to chamfer the face of it just a little bit so it'll fit right into this corner and hopefully we can drive it back that way. So let me go do that real quick and we'll be right back. So if you can see the profile of that tool. But it's still square out here at this edge, but I just chamfered the backside off just so we can make sure that the all the pressure is kind of landing where we're trying to drive it to. All right. So we're going to just try to walk around that edge a little bit. And I'm, I'm leaving this pointed edge on there. You can see where it's denting this two by four. Okay. That's got me a little bit somewhere, but uh, not by much. Let's see if we can uh, get a little bit larger jaw pliers in there. Maybe we can straighten this puppy up some more. All right, let's have another look at it. Well, it's not rocking too much. A little bit here. Okay, maybe a little bit everywhere. <laughs> it's mostly rocking this way. This thing got bowed kind of that direction. See, it needs to be flattened a little bit right here. This, this little beaded corner needs to get pushed out this way some more too. So let's see if we can get, get in there. All right. So this whole little section right here needs to kind of roll that direction a little bit. We're going to 
shape my stick to kind of fit down inside that bead so hopefully I don't uh, deform it any more than necessary. We can hang it over the edge of my wooden anvil if you will. Try to bend it back over. And that brought that back some. All right, well, everybody, I was hoping I wouldn't have to break these out, but uh, this is a set of uh, hammer and dollies. Uh, this is actual body working tools. Uh, these are just cheapy ones from Harbor Freight. Uh, and really, I guess this is a set made for working on door, door panels. Um, but that kind of almost would maybe fit in there. Let's, uh, let's have a look and see. Yeah, it fits into the yeah it's too bad it's not curved a little bit more I think I can maybe make this work though so th this is kind of like a, a handheld anvil so the idea is to put it in here and you hold it in your hand right? and so this is supporting it out here so that means I can hammer on this and it should move in so Let's give that a, a try. Yeah, hey, look at that. That moved right on in. Maybe I should just put it in my vise, maybe, huh? I'll use it like a steak plate. All right. As long as the vise will hold it here, this seems like it works pretty good, actually. And it seems to be, uh, use one of the metal hammers. Seems to actually engage in there pretty nice. I want the metal to go that way so I'm kind of using a, a little bit of a, a glancing type blow. This beaded area is actually coming back into position pretty well. Right here, let's see if we can get you a view. Maybe not, the light's not good enough for that, but Right here, there's a little bead rolled into this, and then it's kind of a curved area. And this beaded area has kind of gotten a little flat here, so I might have to stick my my tool onto this little ridge, and then tap in here with a hammer that looks more like this to kind of shape that bead back in there. here if we can get that in there yeah there we go All right, well, this, this surface right here, it's shaping up pretty good, but this part here still got to come back out that way quite a ways. And uh, tapping on it with the wood isn't really getting there. So uh, I think I'm going to, I got this heel block in here. I'm going to see if I can come in here with uh, this tool here, see if I can hammer that out just a little bit. Make sure I don't. Sure, you see me feeling the part an awful lot. It's always good to, uh, you know, your your hands are a lot more sensitive than people really, you know, take take account of realizing. Um, you can feel all the little dents, and and you can even kind of get a general idea. Like right here, I can, you can see it actually, but right here, it's still kind of flat right there. And I got a little tiny dent right here still. Right here seems pretty all right and kind of fall on the right path. Maybe this is kind of a little flat in this area too, but we'll work this out some more. But anyway, 
Don't underestimate the sensitivity of your fingers and your hands. So I'm using the, the pointed hammer here. That moved out that little hole pretty good, or a little dent. I'll have to probably dress that a little bit with a file or do a little bit more dolly work. Still got kind of a low spot here. All right, I think I got this pretty well overall shaped back into shape. Uh, there's a little bit crinkly kind of an edge going on here and one right here for me with the pliers you know it puts way too much pressure in one spot but I had to get it open somehow so uh, see if we can't fix that with our dolly tools if I can get this guy up in here oh yeah I think that'll work pretty good actually This is the one that got bent. This one here looks a little bit high to me. Eh, maybe not. I guess suppose that one's still a little bit on the low side. <clears throat> I suppose it's easier to tap it back down than it is to tap it up. So do that. Let's see if I can come in here and kind of tap it into the position it should be in. Almost. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you can see it right here, but the inside of this, this bent up corner is flared out a little bit now, so we got to try to tap that back in some. Got a little bit of a hump right here needs to come out. I ain't hitting it hard enough. I think we're bowed this way just a little bit, so I'm gonna see if I can just kind of relax some of that out of there. too bad now all right guys if you enjoy these kind of videos you like seeing machines being resurrected pulled out of the scrap yard uh why don't you consider subscribing and uh maybe even support my patreon channel uh it'll certainly help pay for all the little supplies and stuff that i need and it doesn't take much you know every little bit helps see you guys around